nourriture. Have you forgotten the vows about all the Kaichik? But master, foreign devil bird has silenced our chant, broken our sacred ritual. But we must bear no hatred in our hearts, Kaichik. Why can't these foreigners stay by themselves? Why must they come and desecrate? Yes, Kaichik. In his sight, all men are equal. What is to be, will be. Besides, there are many benefits to be gained by our people through the coming of the airship. Benefits? There has been nothing but strife since this foreigners came. Silence, I check. I there has been stirred up by force like yours. Cleanse your heart, my son. For your prayer be and be penance on your knees. Past monastery. I'll check with the airport, take control. Okay. Supply ship Queen of Mongolia calling Baital Field. Supply ship Queen of Mongolia calling Baital Field. Baital Airfield. Go ahead, Queen Mongolia. Let them into the conference room. Yes, Mr. Baron. Just past the monastery. Should reach the field in half an hour. Flying at 2,000 feet. Visibility perfect. Everything okay. Hear that, gentlemen? Everything is okay. What did I tell you, Winston? Your fears were ground. Well, I hope you're right, Meredith. You don't think the plane hasn't landed yet. No, thanks. What on earth can stop her now? Hey, mysterious portal. Fuck, sir. Accidents will happen on any big construction job. That may explain the wrecking of valuable material, the deaths of dozens of men. But how do you explain the mysterious warning of the man who calls himself a dragon? We've been over that many times. Henry King showed us this must be the work of some fanatic. I'm sure it must be some native who will resent our presence here. It'll take more than a quest for madman to stop us now. Ah, uh, this marks the realization of our dream. A great international airway linking all the nations of the world together. And a mighty step to the peace of the world. Right. What do you say we go out and feel and walk the Queen of Mongolia and come in? Look. You have failed to heed the dragon. The Queen of Mongolia will never land on Baikal Field. What did I tell you? It's some trick to fight. No, I mean, I'm going to order that ship to turn back. Signal the ship to turn back. Yes, tell the pilot not to land. Yes, Mr. Baronet. Right now. Right now. Call it Queen Mongolia. I tell, I tell, Polly Stream and Polly. I tell, Polly Stream and Polly. They've fallen into the dragon's trap. When the pilot answers, let him have it. Aye. Queen of Mongolia. Queen of Mongolia. Go ahead, Baital. Run back, run back. Why? What's wrong? Never mind, Bob. Don't try to land here. Now. Changing the course to... Jimmy! What's happening? Light all. Light all. This is co-pilot O'Connor. Something has happened. Get it back for him. Of course, that is in the case. 
off to something, then I don't know who's to it. But, uh, of course, I don't know who this guy, the dragon, is. But if I get my hands on him, well, there's no telling what I'm about. We've got... what you're saying. International Airways is more than a dream, it's a reality. For the first time in history, nations of the world have joined hands in the work of a plan for peace. And now you talk of a plan. It's all turned if you can't fight an invisible enemy. We haven't started fighting yet, but it's time that we did. What do you mean, Mr. Meredith? I've ordered out another ship. Without consulting us? When did this ship leave? He left last night at midnight. Do you mean to say the people that actually booked passage on that ship? There it is. Do you realize you're sending every person on that plane to certain death? Winston is right. It's murder. Nonsense. There will be no action this time. Well, gee, enough for you to talk murder. You're not on that plane. It may interest you to know, gentlemen, that my son is on that plane. <laughs> So far. Oh, take it away, take it away. Yeah, but those passengers sure are nervous. I'd give a million dollars to hear a good jazz band right now. Try 742. Everything all right? 
Sure, everything's okay. What's your position? Just crossing the border, flying out. Something has happened. What could it be? It's the pilot. Hello, hello, watch out. Something has happened to the... to circle us twice, just before Pete was killed. I wonder if that's... She's going to land. Do you think you can handle the ship now? Sure, why? I want to take a closer look at that plane. Hey, I can't put this ship down here. I don't want you to. Take her on the right now. I'm bailing out. I'll see you at the airport. You stay here. But isn't that Dr. Barr? I'm not for him. Please, more better you stay here. Oh, all right. What's that car doing here? Pastor! Something's up. What's wrong, Lodan? White girl come. White girl? Who is she? Name trainer. Say she look for father. Trainer's daughter here? I feel she's made as comfortable as possible. They are one of the cabins. You're crazy, Bauer. She finds out what On the contrary, my dear Biker. Rainer is going to do what we have been unable to do. Make your father talk. I certainly got a hand it to you, Bauer. Master, look. Wait. You may have come here with Miss Quinn. Go, Dan. Take good care of the girl. Men have been killed fooling with airplanes. Get away from that plate to put your hands up. You'll find my card in there. We are indeed honored, Father. Our visitor is a very distinguished person. None other than the famous Ace Drummond of Washington, D.C. Ace Drummond, what are you doing in Mongolia? Just what I was going to ask you, gentlemen. Pardon the awful sight. I'm Dr. Bauer of the Archaeological Society. This is Mr. Wyckoff, my assistant. It'll be a word we are searching for the lost tomb of Genghis Khan. Mokoff. Sorry. We haven't the car to take you to the airport. Well, that's all right. Goodbye, Drummond. I'll be seeing you again. <coughs> what was that? Get going. All right. 
been hit. They shot away my rudder control. Whoever you are, sir, we owe you our lives. Not to me, but to God. Who are you, my son? I'm Ace Drummond. Miss Trainer and I, as I was helping Miss Trainer out of the plane, these natives attacked us. Attacked you? I'll tell you why. Born devil bird wrecked our shrine and broke the sacred ground. But it was an accident, Taiche. These strangers were not to blame. Why can't these accursed foreigners stay by themselves? Why must they? Silence, Taiche. Return to the monk. Have no fear. Chang Ho will see that you reach the airport safe. Keep on the ground. Contact. Give her the gun. Put her nose in the wind. Head to the sun. Give me the open sky. Give me a tip to fly. Steady and strong. Zooming along. Give me a wind that sings between two wings, making a song, rushing along. Let it be clear or cloudy weather, my great and I together. Far from the clouds, far from the crowd, below, zooming along with a song. Give me a motor's roar, give me a plane to soar into the pool, following pool. Give me a trail to play, cause the rest of my days I'm gonna fly, and it's gonna be high. Give me luck and a happy landing, and a tailwind a good and strong. Give me the open sky, give me a trail to Oh, say, I always did want to meet that guy. And the sun. Airport, Missy. Oh, perfect three-point left. Hey, hey! Hey, hey! Hello, Billy. Gee, I'm glad you got back all right. This is my pal, Billy Meredith. His father's head of the International Airways Committee. Hello, Billy. Uh, Where's your dad? He's in the office waiting for you. I'll report to him right away. You take good care of Miss Trainer. You bet. I'm leaving you in good hands. Moko, <laughs> Hoping on. Could you please tell Mr. Meredith Ace Drummond is here? You are Ace Drummond. I can tell you how glad I am to meet you, Drummond. I'm Henry Keith, a member of the commission. I'm glad to meet you, Mr. Keith. This way, the commission are waiting for you. Hey, we've been worried about you. How are you? Hello, Mr. Meredith. Gentlemen, this is Ace Drummond. Baron Caldoni, Monsieur LePage, Mr. Whitney. I'm glad to meet you, Mr. Drummond. But I'm afraid you got here too late. Too late? Yes. Nothing can save international airways now. 
Why, surely you don't mean to abandon the project. You could hardly blame us. Our equipment being destroyed, our planes wrecked, and our pilots mysteriously killed. I know, gentlemen. That's just why I was sent out from Washington. We know your reputation, Mr. Drummond, but you don't realize what you're up against. We've taken every human precaution and failed. How can anyone fight an invisible enemy? The only way to fight an invisible enemy is to bring him out in the open, where he can be seen. Well, this is Jerry, the head mechanic, and I'm his grease monkey. Well, I'm mighty glad to meet any friend of my number one grease monkey here. Happy to meet you, Jerry. That grease monkey, where did you get it? Well, I didn't steal it, miss. Honest, I didn't. I just found it over here in the hills. Please, may I see it? Well, sure. It's my father's. Where did you find it? Your father's? Why, well, I found it over here in Hung Chung Valley. So you see, international airways must not be abandoned. I heartily agree with you. Mr. Drummond, look, my father's just watch. Where did you get this? The chief mechanic found it in Hong Chung Valley. Gentlemen, you asked me just now if I had any clues. I believe this is one. What do you mean? This trainer came to Mongolia to search for her father, who disappeared mysteriously some time ago. I believe his disappearance is linked with the attacks on international airways. Where's the mechanic? Outside, working on one of the planes. I want him to show me where he found it. I'll report to you later. I wonder what happened to Miss Trainer's dad. Either dead or somebody's holding him prisoner. That's Hung Chung Valley. Hey, look, there's a plane down there. That's right where I found that watch. Let's put out and have a look. the man who robbed you, Mayor. Tell us where that mountain of jade is located, and we'll see to it that you get safely back to America. Whoever you are, you're wasting your time. If I told you where the mountain of jade is, I'd never get out of Mongolia alive. difference to you if we told you that your daughter is here, looking for you? My daughter? I don't believe it. It won't be hard to convince you of that. Master! Master! Devil bird come. the planes from the airport. It's that Ace Drummond. Let me handle this. If Drummond suspects us, it means the end of all our plans. Ah, hello there, Doc Farmer. Hey, how's the archaeological business doing, huh? All right. Having some trouble? Yeah, carburetor's been acting up a little there. Can we help you? No, I think it's okay now. Thanks. Well, let's get back to work. Uh, so long, Doc. So long. Airport pilots don't make a habit of landing you. Lucky for us, it wasn't drumming.
this. Robin. Open the door. Don't be a fool. He came here in the plane. Jerry knows we're here, and he'll be waiting for him to come up. We can't let him find out anything. I know how to stop him. The hull of Dead King. That's a job for the plane. Order out a squadron at once. Right. Wrong, Derek. The Dragon Plane. We gotta get out of here quick. Dragon Plane? The same outfit that attacked the airport. They're heading this way. That's a tough break. I was just about to find out something. Oh, we can't wait for that now, eh? I've got a prisoner that might give us some important information. But we can't wait. Jerry, I know how we can do it. I'll take off in your plane. When they chase me, you grab the prisoner in that tunnel and hit for the airport in Bowers' plane. Okay.
No doubt about it. Nikolai is out now double checking to make sure. He'll take off as soon as he comes back. Well, Nikolai, you satisfied now that Drummond's dead? Get away from that radio. Drummond! Get in that forward cockpit. Think you're gonna take me prisoner, huh? Well, you'll never get away with it, Summon. We'll see about that after I've had a look at where you birds roost. Back to the base.
understand it. And then we'll get him. You want to run? What are you doing with this machine gun? It's all right, Mr. Key. I'm going up after the dragon plane. By whose authority? Well, they got a strum and I've got to. I do nothing of the kind. Take that gun back to the arsenal. What's it all about, son? Jerry wants to go after the dragon plane, but Mr. Key won't let him. I'll take care of that. It's all right, Mr. Key. There's a spot in the gut he's drunk. What did you do with the prisoner, Jerry? Some of the boys got him locked up over in the tool shed. Prisoner? Where did you get him? In the Hung Chung Valley, where Jerry and I went to look for Peggy's father. Did you find any trace of my father? No. We were on the right track when the dragon plane swooped down on us, and we had to get out quick. Bring the native over into the conference room. We'll find out how much he knows. OK. Who is the dragon? He no savvy dragon. You know who I mean, the man you're working for. Who is he? He no savvy dragon. Then why did you attack me? That cave, all of dead kings, sacred to my people. You keep away. Perhaps he's telling the truth after all. Native superstition. But, Mr. Winston, I tell you, this man must be connected with the dragon. Right after we took him prisoner, the dragon planes appeared and tried to rescue him. How could they possibly know anything about him? I know that the dragon was in constant communication with his squadron. There must be some secret means of... Come on. In this no time, poor Mr. Meredith will never see his son again. The dragon command. My son. But I just left him at the plane with Peggy and Jerry. Keep an eye on the prisoner. Billy! Billy! Where's Billy? Why, I saw him just a moment ago. Billy! Billy! Where are you? There's his jacket. Billy! 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 Want me, Pop? My boy, you're all right? Sure, I'm all right. What's the matter? But, but the dragon said that Billy... It's a trick. Where's the prisoner? I was guarding him when someone hit me from behind. That's all I remember. He must have gone out through the window.
Drop everything, Jerry, and come with me. Shortcut? Yeah, if you got wings. Hang on. Written the portal of holiness shall be closed to no man. Enter, my son. Thank you, Holy One. We seek an evildoer. You go around the other way and I'll search over here. Okay. This is how you feel the kindness of the Holy One. I didn't kill him. I heard the shot and found him dead. That isn't my gun. Do you expect us to believe that? Seize him! escape from that room. Stand guard here. I'll tell the Holy One.
expects us to believe. Seize him. Stand guard here. I'll tell the Holy One. What is this, Skycheck? A deed of violence within the holy wall? He's Drummond's friend. He must have attacked the guards. This is most unfortunate. These things should not happen here. Open the door. Closing walls. Closing walls? What do you mean? A clever little arrangement for crushing a man to death. Somebody locked me in and turned it on. Holy one, this must be the room of death the ancient records tell about. I have long known that one of the rooms was used for that purpose, but never knew which one. When Mr. Drummond slammed the door, the shop must have started the mechanism. That must be the explanation. Guy check tells me there is blood upon your hand. I didn't kill Lodan. He was dead when I found him. You forget we found you standing over him with this gun in your hand. Let me take a look at that gun. The gun belonged to Henry Key over at the airport. Henry Key? Sure, there's his initials right on the gun. You mean the Mongolian member of the Committee of International Airways? Maybe he can throw some light on who killed Lodan. He's just saying that to clear himself. I had no reason to kill Lodan. On the contrary, I had every reason for taking him alive. Why, sure. We just wanted to find out what he knew about those mysterious attacks on International Airways. Yes, we were questioning him at the airport when the Dragon warned me to let him go. The Dragon? Yes, the mysterious enemy who was trying to keep International Airways out of this country. There is more here than meets the eye, Kaiche. Let them go their way in peace. Thank you, Holy One. A request, good father. That prayer wheel gave me the idea that saved my life. May I have it as a keep? Granted, my son. Fetch it for him, Chang Ho. May the blessings of the wheel descend upon you, my son. You are very kind, Holy One. What do you want with that darn thing? Some kind of radio receiving set that the dragon uses. I'm going to find out how it works. Yeah. Tell them to stand by, Billy. I'm going to try it again. OK. Stand by, Peggy. Ace is going to try again. We're ready. Here goes another try, Jay. Go ahead, Ace. I've got my fingers crossed. One, two, three, four, five. Now's the time for all good men and true to come to the aid of their country. Well, has he started yet? Ah, oh, we're wasting our time. This thing might have talked to Ace, but if you're not on speaking terms with me. One, two, three, four. Check. How about it, Peggy? It still doesn't work. He says it still doesn't work. I give up. I've tried every wavelength in Mongolia. But why do you suppose it doesn't work? The Dragon must have special equipment of his own. You suppose we haven't used enough things? Look, Ace. Let's try this one. I'll try anything once. It's working. Look, Ace. Something's happening. Well, here goes. One, two, three, four. Tell 
Jerry's not hurting. Jerry said it works. I'm surprised to say. Give me a motor's roar, give me a plane to soar into the blue, following through. Give me a trail to blaze, cause the rest of my days I'm gonna fly, and it's gonna be high. Give me luck and a happy landing, and a tailwind good and strong. Give me the open sky, give me a ship to fly, give me a song, give me a ship and a song. What are you doing, Drummond? Just a minute. How about it, Peggy? It worked, Ace, it worked. Come on, where are you going? What's this all about? I just found out how the dragon talks to his men. Well, then what value is that? Don't you see, Mr. Winston, we can listen in when the dragon talks. What you say is true, you know the dragon's plans and be ready whenever he strikes. No doubt about it. Come over to the hangar and I'll prove it to you. So sorry and late, Mr. Meredith. That's all right, Johnny. Oh, uh, Mr. Drummond's been using the radio while you were gone. Thank you, please, Mr. Drummond. C5, calling C1. C5, calling C1. C1, C1, go ahead, C5. Regret, urgent news, makes necessary, call you now. Go ahead, go ahead. Hey, we heard every word just as plainly as if you were right here in the room. Boy, it sure worked. Where did you get it? At the monastery where Jerry and I chased Lothan. We were just about to grab him when he was mysteriously killed with this gun. Jerry says it belongs to Henry Key. Henry Key? Mm -hmm. So it does. Look, Mr. Key's plane is landing now. Better hear what he has to say. How do you do, gentlemen? Hello, Key. Hello. Mr. Key, have you ever seen this gun before? Of course, it was mine. Was? I sold it a week ago. Would you mind telling us to whom you sold it? Not at all. To Dr. Power. May I ask, what this is all about? Mr. Meredith will explain. Excuse me. Hey, Jerry. Got a car handy? For sure, Ace. Eh? What's up? You and I are going to run over to Dr. Bower's camp and pay him a little visit. Peggy, you and Billy wait at the office.
trying to warm it. Thanks to you, Billy. If you hadn't warned us, we'd have walked right into their trap. How did you know about it, anyway? I heard it ragging, giving orders to his men. You what? Yes, over the trail room, just after you left. I think it was Henry Key. I'll know more about that after I've talked with Bauer. You go on to the monastery and get help for those men, then take Billy on to the airport. You're not going to tackle Bauer alone. Gee, he may be the dragon. I think I can handle him all right. Where's Dr. Bauer? Mr. Drummond, what are you doing here? I came to see you, Dr. Bauer. Indeed. What about? This gun. I understand it's yours. Mine? If it were, it would have my own initials on it. Oh, yes, the initials. I know they're Henry Keyes, but I understand he sold you the gun. Well, if Henry Key is trying to plant a gun on you, he's doing it to cover himself. What do you mean, Wyckoff? Like there are some things that Henry Key might find it hard to explain. <laughs> There's been a bad accident. A car with four people in it went off the cliff. I come to get help. Chang Ho, send several of the monks out to help him. How did it happen, my son? They were chasing Ace Drummond and me, and the car went off the road. Christ doomed is he who dies with evil in his heart. Drummond has escaped the trap you set for him. I'll send more men at once. Send the plane to the Hall of Dead Kings. Yes, sir. The film is very interesting, Wyckoff. I'll certainly ask Henry Key to explain. Sorry to have left you too abruptly, uh, Drummond. But I have some very important instructions I have to give to my native digger. Quite all right, Dr. Bowen. You are not leaving us, are you? Yes, the sooner this is settled, the better. Well, you're here, but I'd like to show you around. You have on earth some very interesting things. Oh, let me out! Very interesting. It sounded like a man's voice. Oh, we hear all sorts of funny noises around here. Let me out! It came from in there. Wait, who knew? We may not have come here alone. Why 
is a white man. I'll have you out of there in a minute. We have nothing to be afraid of. They can't identify us. Absolutely amazing. It's Dr. Trainer. Dr. Trainer? Peggy Father? My daughter? Is she here in Mongolia? Yes, at the airport. She's been searching for you ever since you disappeared. But dear trainer, what on earth happened to you? Wyckoff and I have given you up for day. I was captured by some natives in the pay of two men who've been holding me prisoner here. Do you know who they are? No, they always kept their faces covered. Why were they holding you prisoner? To make me tell them the location of a mountain of jade which I discovered. A mountain of jade? Why, oh, that would be worth millions. Maybe that's the stake the dragon's playing for. I think you've hit it, woman. And it would explain why the dragon doesn't want the airport located here in Mongolia. Maybe you're right, Bauer. At any rate, you can give me a lot of valuable information, Dr. Trainer. Let's go to the airport at once. You coming along? No, thanks. We don't make an archaeological discovery like this every day. We'll drop over to the airport this evening, Trainer, and see how you're getting along. Thank you. over here, Doctor. Right over here, Doctor.
Cut for the tree. What are you going to do? I'll be all right. Get under cover. like an explosion. Look, there's a plane circling over there when we left base. That's one of them dragon planes. The Raptor 8, we've got to have it. Not that way. Let's get the natives. Get the rifle, quick. Plane's going away. Never mind the rifle. Get back to your work. What happened, Ace? Did the dragon plane try and get you? Damn hell. Well, where's Dr. Trainer? Dr. Trainer? You mean you brought Peggy's father? Yes. But somebody was holding him prisoner in the Hall of Dead Kings. Laura and Wyckoff were with him when I found him. Come on. Then you're all right. I thought sure you were done for. He saw the plane land and ran to get our men. Then I suppose you don't know what happened to Dr. Trainer. On the contrary, he saw the plane pick him up. But do you mean the dragon's men have him? What makes you think that was a dragon plane? Well, don't you know, Dr. Bauer? Listen, Drummond, I'm sick of your insinuations. If you think that I'm in any way connected with those mysterious attacks on the Air Force, you better prove it. I haven't accused anybody yet, Dr. Bauer. But if you'll come with me over to the airport and face Henry Key, we'll have a showdown as to which of you own this gun. I'll be over. As soon as I've attended to some important matters at my camp. I hate to tell Peggy the bad news about her father. We're sure of one thing, Peggy. Your father is still alive. But why should the dragon want to keep Dad a prisoner? He's an archaeologist. He wouldn't harm anyone. Your father claims it's because he discovered a mountain of jade the dragon is trying to get hold of. Well, who do you really think the dragon is, Ace? There's a lot of evidence pointing to Henry Key. Well, on the other hand, Dr. Bauer certainly must have had something to do with holding your dad prisoner in the Hall of the Dead King. Sorry to make you folks move, but I gotta warm this plane up. Who's taking her out, Bill? Mr. Henry Key. Henry Key? Where is he? Well, he just telephoned from the office. Well, this is one flight that'll have to wait. I've got business with Mr. Key. Hello, Johnny. Mr. Key inside? Yes, Mr. Drummond. Old gentleman there. Old committee meeting. Thanks. I tell you, gentlemen, the sooner we get rid of Ace Drummond, the better off we will be. All he has accomplished so far is to antagonize the natives. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Mr. Key says that I have accomplished nothing today. That is not so. I have here the gun that killed the dragon's messenger. Strangely enough, it has Mr. Key's initials on it. Mr. Key informs me that he sold the gun to Dr. Bauer. Unfortunately, Dr. Bauer knows nothing about it. Dr. Bauer is coming here this afternoon and we'll have a showdown. That is, if Mr. Key is willing to forego his little trip. You see, gentlemen, more of such charges. Mr. Drummond is hinting that I am the dragon. Now, why should he? A member of this commission seeks to start in a national airway. Project here to all our hearts. After all, Dr. Bauer is a man of international reputation. And it's his word against Mr. Key. Very well, gentlemen. I shall postpone my trip. You can reach me at my quarters. Mr. Meredith, this gun is a rather important piece. I suggest that you lock it up in the safe. A good idea, Drummond.
Unpack, spin them around. Unpack, leave in the ground. Unpack, give it a gun. Put her nose in the wind, head to the sun. Give me the open sky. Give me a ship to fly, steady and booming along. Give me a wind that sings between two wings, making a song, rushing along. Let it be clear or cloudy weather, my great and my together. Up in the clouds, up in the clouds, below, zooming along with a song. Give me luck and a happy landing, and a tailwind good and strong. Give me the open sky, give me a ship to fly. Johnny, what does this mean? Please, Mr. Drummond, I'm fixing radio. What became of that fellow that ran in here? Fellow? To my soul, Holy One, to do penance. Peace be with you, my son. See, 
four on reporting. Brenner's daughter and the boy are on their way to Bowers' camp. They should be watched. I'll take care of it. You cool? What are you trying to do? Watch your pressure, you'll blow the thing to pieces. One of the storeroom and get those other specimens. and break the lock.
a piece of jade. Jade? Okay, that's just like the one we found at the airport. You know, the one that made the dragon's prayer wheel talk. What are you going to do? I'm going to see if it fits this lady up. We'd better go, Billy. I just want to see if the dragon's singing. Dr. Bauer is on his way to the airport to meet Ace Drummond. Have all planes ready for an immediate takeoff. The Dragon Command. You suppose that means Dr. Bauer isn't the Dragon? I don't know, Billy, but we've got to get to the airport right away. It's Mr. Wyckoff. He's coming this way. Let's go. Quick. Oh, it's too late. He's out with you. I know. You stay here. I'll try to lead him away. Then you slip to the car. Yeah, but what about you? Oh, you don't have me. I'll join you later. Why, Mr. Wyckoff. Why, Miss Trainer, what are you doing here? I came to see Dr. Bauer, and there wasn't anyone around, so I took the liberty of waiting in his cabin. Then won't you come back into the cabin and let me entertain you until he returns? Oh, no, thanks. I must be getting back to the airport. Surely there's no great hurry. And I'm sure Dr. Bauer would be greatly disappointed if he didn't wait. Well, it's very nice of you, but really I must be going. In that case, let me show you back to your car. I believe it's right over behind those bushes, isn't it? Yes, mm-hmm. I'm sorry I didn't see Dr. Bowers. Yes, he'll be sorry too. Goodbye. I want to see who's in that car. Now, Billy, be careful. That's China. There's something. I must. Please don't try to talk. You're badly hurt. I must. Now, now he's dormant. And the key. Oh, 
I don't know, Ace. He was still alive when we found him lying on the side of the road. Did he say anything before he died? He tried to tell me something, but, but died before he could finish. Well, what did he say? The exact words were, tell Ace Drummond that Henry Key... Henry Key? He ought to be here any minute now. There's a car I chased. Are you sure, Billy? Gentlemen, Mrs. Drummond, where's Dr. Bauer? Are you trying to tell us that you don't know what's happened to Dr. Bauer? What makes you think I do? Your car was seen at the spot where Dr. Bauer was murdered. Bauer oh, murdered? Quit stalling. Key, your car was positively identified. There are plenty of cars that look like mine. What reason could I have for killing Dr. Bauer? Because Bauer was on his way here to expose you. That's the dragon, I suppose. Do you gentlemen really believe that I a member of the commission, am trying to wreck the international airways. I see. Are you ready to swear out a warrant for my arrest, Mr. Drummond? You travel too fast, Key. That'll come in due time. I thought so. Gentlemen, good day. father's diary, where did you get it? I found it in Dr. Bauer's desk. It's funny that he suddenly stopped writing in English. Was he in the habit of writing in queer-looking oriental language? No, only when he wanted to keep something a secret. Maybe Johnny Wong can pass it. That's a good idea, Billy. It might explain why the dragon is holding him prisoner. Johnny, would you translate this for us? Sorry, Mr. Drummond. This very ancient language, only very wise men can we say. Grand Lama at monastery, one very learned man. Very happy to take books from him for you. That's kind of you, Johnny. I go right away. But I think I'll go myself. Thanks. Diary and is playing to the monastery to have it translated. Stop him. The dragon. 
Miner. You don't have to tell us where the Mountain of Jade is located. Yeah, as soon as the dragon gets his hands on your diary, you'll find out all about it. You keep an eye on it. I'll go on the plane with Sergi. I tell you, he's putting down. No use hiding, Drummond. We know you're in that cockpit. What do you guys want here? We want trainer's diary. Hand it over. Drummond's getting away in our plane. This is written in a very ancient language, my son. Only one man in the monastery can translate it. My disciple, Chang Ho. I will take you to his room. Thank you, Holy One. There is a task for you, Leonard Chang Ho. A modern manuscript written in the lost language of the Third Dynasty. Second day of the month of the locusts. That's June in your country. I'll see you at it. What is it? Holy one, say you come. The Grand Lama wishes to see me, Chang Ho. I'll be back in a minute. Very good, Mr. Drummond.
finished so soon, my son? Why, no, you sent for me. There must be some mistake. I did not send for you. It was no mistake. Come. The Grand Lama wishes to see me, Chang Ho. I'll be back in a minute. Very good, Mr. so soon, my son? Why, no, you sent for me. There must be some mistake. I did not send for you. It was no mistake. Wait, my son! I don't know, but he seems to feel there is something amiss.
you see Abe Drummond come out of there? Drummond? I have not seen him since Glenn Rama took him to visit the room at Chang Ho. Well, uh, someone's taken him out through that underground passage. Impossible. Nothing like that could happen in this monastery. Yeah, uh, well, it did happen. Are you all right? What evil will tell you? What have they done with Abe? I don't know. I was engrossed in translating the diary when suddenly I lost consciousness. Someone has torn a page out of Trainer's diary. Do you know what was on it? Something about how from the jade. Just on the point of learning its exact location when I was overcome. Mount Jade. That's what the dragon's after. Is there anything I can do, Holy One? Help me to get Chang Ho out into the corridor. Have they found your father yet? Not yet, Mr. Keeper. But we hope to have news soon. I think you hope so. Why did he nudge me? Don't you know Ace suspects he's a dragon? Are you sure? I heard it with my own ears. We must send a message at once.
did like pigeon pie. They're not eating these birds, Jerry. They're carrier pigeons. Carrier pigeons? Oh. <laughs> hey, what are they carrying? They're going to carry us straight to the dragon's hideout. Hey, what makes you think these birds know where the dragon lives? I just saw one of their little pals turned loose with a message tied to his leg. Unless I'm mistaken, he's headed for the dragon's hideout. Yeah? Get in. from Painter's Diary. It must tell where the Mountain of Jade is located. I've been waiting a long time for this. What are you going to do? Now that we have that, the dragon won't be trainer anymore. How about reading that note so we can start looking for the Mountain of Jade? What's the matter? Can't you read it? Some sort of secret writing. Hey, Sergi! Wait, don't shoot! What's the idea? We don't need him anymore. That page from his diary tells where the Mountain of Jade is. Yeah, but it's written in some secret language. Well, he wrote it. We'll make him read it. What sort of language is this, Penner? Guess what you said it was? A secret language. Only a few scholars in the world can read it. And you're one of them. Get busy and read it, or... Right. the prisoner and see that no harm comes to him. call your shot. We've been looking for this bird for a week. Not so loud, Jerry. The dragon's been around here somewhere. Well, if they are, they're sure keeping themselves well hid. Say, let's go up on that ridge and take a look around.
about one of our men. Pick up the gun. We might need it. Wait. I hit the wrong man. Get out of those bridges. See what you can find. Hey, hey. It's a tunnel. Maybe it leads to their hideout. Get them before they get through the tunnel. It looks like a storeroom. We must be getting close to their hideout. There they are. And now we've got them. The guy we tied up. Over here, it's our only chance. Don't shoot. They'll blow up all our ammunition. Yeah, what of it? like a storeroom. We must be getting close to their hideout. There they are. And now we've got them. It's the guy we tied up. Chris Diamond. Got me pinned down, Zoe. Oh, that's good. 
out of here. No. Uh. Where did Drummond leave his plane? Over there, around the bend. They're closing in on us. You two get back to your post. Hello. What's this? Some of our carrier pigeons. Now oh, I see how Drummond found this place.
the X. Contact by Del Field and tell him we're on our way. Right. It'll be dark before we reach the monastery. There's a car behind us. I wonder who's following us. Step on it and see. that the dragon is about to strike. You must turn back at once. You seem well informed of the dragon's plan. I tell you, you're risking your lives. Thanks for the warning, Mr. Key.
Surely there's eight seven of them here. He doesn't understand English. What do we do? I know. The Grand Lama speaks here. We wish to see the Lama. Lama. A thousand pardons if I intrude. But did you wish to see the Grand Lama? Yes. I am Chang Ho, humble disciple of the Holy One. Please take me to him. I must see him at once. It is forbidden for a woman to enter the monastery, but you may wait in the courtyard. Thank you. You may wait here. Thank you. The last time I was here was the day Ace's plane went out of control. We crashed against that wall. Oh, you sure were lucky to get out of that alive. What is it, my son? Wait, lady from the airport wishes to speak to the Holy One. I will see her. Here comes the Grand Lama. Chang Ho tells me you are looking for Mr. Drummond. He left some hours ago. Could you tell me which way he went? I'm sorry I cannot tell you that. He and his friend flew away without leaving any word. Thank you. Well, Billy, I guess there's nothing we can do except go back to the airport. If Ace and Jerry had been gone that long, without getting back to the airport, there's only one answer. They crashed. But can't we do something? Say, Peggy, that day you crashed. Did Ace take that signal pistol out of the plane? I don't think so, Billy. Why? Excuse me, please. distance in 20 minutes. Every man to his post. Are you sure the ray is working? Aye. What about Ace Drummond? Suppose he warns the Queen of the Orient. Don't worry, the dragon is taking care of that. I hope we get to the airport in time to warn the clipper. Queen of the Orient. 
Ace Drummond calling Queen of the Orient. Answer, Queen of the Orient. What are you going to do, Drummond? We've got to stop that ship. We heard the Dragon give orders to bring her down. But isn't it dangerous to try to contact her? We've got to take that chance. Ace Drummond calling Queen of the Orient. When the pilot answers, let him have it. Queen of the Orient, go ahead, Drummond. Turn back. Turn back. It's Drummond. He says, turn back. The dragon commands. Remember the dragon strikes through them. I have to be on set in case Drummond calls. Have you heard from the Queen of the Orient, Johnny? Well, no, Mr. Drummond. Give me those headphones. Ace Drummond calling Queen of the Orient. Ace Drummond calling Queen of the Orient. Answer, Queen of the Orient. What are you going to do, Drummond? We've got to stop that ship. We heard the dragon give orders to bring her down. But isn't it dangerous to try to contact her? We've got to take that chance. Ace Drummond calling Queen of the Orient. When the pilot answers, let him have it. Queen of the Orient, go ahead, Drummond. Turn back. Turn back. It's Drummond. He says, turn back. Look, it came back. The dragon's going to strike. Thanks to your quick work and Jerry's. Are you sure you weren't going to report to the dragon? Don't know, Mr. Dragon. Don't give us that. You work for him. I saw him put the gate bar on the radio. I've had my suspicions of you for a long time, Johnny, and now we've got you. You'd better talk. I have nothing to say. Don't know, Mr. Dragon. You make a mistake, Mr. Drummond. I'd like to believe you, Johnny, but the evidence against you is too strong. I'm going to lock you up until morning. I begin to understand a great many things. This man was in an ideal position to reveal all our plans. That would explain the dragon's attacks on the airport and our plane. But why is the dragon so determined to keep international airways out of Mongolia? I believe I can answer that. The presence of the airport interferes with his plan to get possession of a jade mountain, which Peggy's father discovered. That's why the dragon's keeping my father prisoner. In heaven's name, who is this dragon? Who got Johnny Wong his job here? Henry Key. Henry Key? A member of the International Airways Commission? Why, well, that's unbelievable. We'll know more about that after the authorities question Johnny Wong. 
that sings between two wings, making a song, rushing along. Let it be clear or cloudy weather, my great and I together, up in the clouds, far from the crowd. Give me a motor to roar, give me a plane to soar into the boat, following through. Give me a trail to blaze, cause the rest of my days I'm gonna fly, and it's gonna be high. Give me luck and a happy landing, and a tailwind good and strong. Give me the open sky, give me a ship to fly, Give me a song, give me a ship and a song. Goodbye, Peggy. I hope that when the authorities make Johnny talk, maybe he'll be able to tell us where the dragon's been keeping your father prisoner. I hope so. G.A., can I go too? Not this time, Billy. Your job's to stay here and keep your eyes peeled. Take good care of Peggy. Come on. Come on, Peggy. I'll show you my new Scott plane I'm working All right. Hey, look, Peggy. Isn't this a honey? I bet you'll fly a hundred yards. Be careful, Billy. Ain't good mind what happened to the player wheel. Say, no, Peggy. Funny the way the dragon makes that thing talk. Have they been called in yet? No. Say, you started playing nursemaid to old man trainer? I'll nursemaid him just as soon as he tells us where that mountain of dead is. This woman has all his way to town with Tommy Vaughan, a prisoner. Now is your chance to strike. The dragon command. I'd better go check with the others. That is, if you're not afraid to stay with old man Trainer. You better not try any monkey business with me. Hey, Trainer, here's your food. Man, wake up! What's the matter, sick? Get away from you. I couldn't help it. You know what the dragon will do to us if we don't get him back. You look for him while I get the alarm. What's this one, Peggy? That's great, Billy. B4 calling. Emergency. Dr. Trainer has escaped from the Hall of Dead King. Probably heading for the airport. Stop him at all costs. Gee, Peggy, where were you? That last flight was fast. Ah, I'm sorry, Billy, I missed it. Uh, your father called. He wants from the office right away. All right.
plane bearing down on it. Looks like one of those dragon planes. Circling round. Diving on it. I'll keep him covered. So at last you've come out on the open, Mr. Key. I copy you to release Johnny Wong. You can't have him. He's staying with us. What for? You're coming along, too. You forced my hand, Mr. Drummond. I didn't want to do this. No, I know you don't. Don't make a move. This will explain everything. Mongolian Secret Service. Ah, oh, that's a fake. There's a number under this insignia. It's on the level. What's your code number, Key? X9. It's okay, Jerry. Put your gun down. Then, then he ain't a dragon? Well, what about this guy? Maybe he's a dragon. I'm sorry to disappoint you. John Wong is one of my most efficient operators. Ah, uh, well, maybe I'm the I certainly had you all wrong, Key. No time for that now. We must get back to the airport before the dragon strikes. Yes. Ever since you blocked the dragon's plans by recovering the missing page from Trainer's diary, we have been afraid the dragon would strike a trainer from his daughter. Especially since you are not there to protect her, Mr. Drummond. I'll fly back with you, Key. Jerry, you and Johnny get back to the airport. I'm going to try and find him. She must have taken the monastery road. We've got to stop her. We can overtake her in my car. Good. There she is now. He's gone into the monastery. Can we go too? I have a better plan.
Can we pass her? No. There's no fire road. It looks like Peggy's car. I hope nothing has happened to her. Her tracks lead to the monastery. You stay here. I say, did Miss Trainer come in here? Miss Trainer? Yes, the American girl from the airport. No woman is permitted in this monastery. Of course, Miss Trainer. She's with the Holy One. I must see her at once, Chang Ho. Certainly, Mr. Trainer. Thank you. Why do you hide the truth, Guy Jack? If the Holy One knew, he would send you to your prayer wheel for penance. You shame me, worthy Chang Ho. I will go to my prayer wheel. Peace be with you. What happened, Holy One? Where is Miss Trainer? She was with me when two men disguised as monks struck me down and took her away. Look after him, Jango. I never thought I'd see you again. Come on, let's get going.
and the door's locked. Don't worry, dear. I'll open the door. <laughs> oh, my dear. I never thought I'd see you again. They did. You're not going to get away with it. I demand to be taken to the monastery. The Lama will vouch for me. Very well. Bye, Gorilla. Hey, stop them, there. Stop them, guys. Check they're getting away with this trainer. Stop them, I tell you. What is the trouble, Mr. Cummins? It's all a mistake, Chang Ho. I must see the Lama to have him vouch for me. I'm sorry. But the Holy One is indisposed, as you know. He was struck down and there's no condition to see any. But the Dragon's men are getting away with Miss Trainer. I've got to stop them. Trainer is in the hands of the dragon? Yes, he'll use her to make her father tell where the Mountain of Jade is located. Tell these men to let me go. Sorry, I, I have no power to do that. Maybe this will more than pay for the damage. <laughs> Did Dan Chair leave the native village? Yes. Why? The dragon's men have got Peggy Trainer in it. They took the south road. Step on it, Key. That's the road we're going to take.
looks like one of those dragon planes. It is that dragon plane. You can't outrun them. Head for those rocks. Go! Gentlemen. Where is Drummond? Over there, behind those bushes. Dead. Your last bomb got him. Take us to him. Hold it. Drop those guns. Nice going, Gabe. Take their belts off and tie them up. This will be quicker. That'll hold him. Come on, we'll have to hurry. Come on. Not that way, you clumsy fool. Get out. All together. Now, one, two, three, four. There's the danger. They're calling to that king. That's the hall of that king. Peggy's father was held prisoner there for the dragon. That's the dragon coming to flesh and trainer. If it is, we'd better get on the job. Let's get back to the prison. Ooh, that takes drummond. Get out there and stop him. The dragon command.
Well, at least we know who the dragon is. Yeah. He's pretty smart posing as an archaeologist. Do you see anything of Drummond? No. I guess he landed over behind those trees. Hey. I thought you sent that sedan chair back to headquarters. I did. But I'm glad they came back. They can help us capture Drummond. I'm going to tell them. Stop the chair and come quickly. We're going to get a Drummond. Drop that gun. Drop it. Now stay back. Another one around somewhere. Look out, Keith! There where you are! You can't hit him from here. You're right, Keith. I'll try and smoke him out. Here. What you going to do? You make him think we're both still here. Done to Miss Trainer. Answer me. She's in the hall of dead cave with her father. All right. You can join your friends. Get going. Looks like a cave of jewels, is all Jay. Yes, the vein begins here, but the pure crystal starts deeper in the mountain. Engine room? Yes, it's in back of that statue. I've forgotten you have been here before. Talk fast. What did you do with them? I tell you, I left them here. I, I don't know what happened to them. Come on, get that greeting. Yes, that's the end of the passage. It's a 
steady yourself with the vine. That's right. Be careful, my dear. It's a thousand feet down. It must have discovered the secret of the Jade Mountain. Mr. Whitehouse, the archaeologist. Whitehouse? Well, trainer, so you thought you could keep me from finding the secret of the Mountain of Jade? They couldn't have gone that way. They must have brought here. It was you who kept me prisoner all these months and tortured me. You're the dragon. It's Peggy. Make it, Drummond. I've got to. The dragon command. yourself with a vine. That's right. Be careful, my dear. It's a thousand feet down. Whoever it is must have discovered the secret of the Jade Mountain. Mr. Wyckoff, the archaeologist. Wyckoff? Well, trainer, so you thought you could keep me from finding the secret of the Mountain of Jade. They couldn't have gone that way. They must have brought here. It was you who kept me prisoner all these months and tortured me. You're the dragon. It's Peggy. Drummond? I've got to. Hang on, Drummond! 
try to help you. I can make it if the vine holds out. It's solid up here. Wyckoff, where is he? He's gone, he went that way. Peggy, we've got to get out of here. Now that the dragon knows where the mountain of Jade is, he'll kill us both. That was a close call, Drummond. There's no telling what Wyckoff may do. We've got to stop him. You can't cross here. We can double back to the Hall of Dead Kings and use the plane. Drummond. What we do with the dragon's man we put in the dungeon? We'll have to leave them there until we know Peggy and her father are safe. Why cost the dragon? Why don't he come and let us out of here? Oh, give him a chance. You know he's out to round up Ace Drummond. Well, I've had enough of this. Give me a hand. One of them. Hey. Hey, you're hurt. Never mind me. You go ahead. What do you mean, go ahead? Come on, we'll see this through together. Now let's get drumming. They've got to turn back in the wind to take off. Calling by Dow Field. By Dow. By Dow Airfield. Yes? Just one minute, please, Mr. Drummond. Mr. Meredith, very anxious to contact you. Hello, Mr. Meredith. I have Mr. Drummond on radio phone right now. At last. Now we'll get some news. Coming, Johnny. The dragon's men? Yes. Yes, I'll order him out at once. Please stand by. Run down to the hangar and tell Jerry to take off at once and meet Ace Drummond at Wyckoff's camp. Yes. Tell him to be sure to take his gun. Every key dead. Yes. He took a bullet that was meant for Drummond. And to think we accused Key of being the dragon. First power, then Key. I 
Tell you gentlemen that Drangle will get us all before he's through the international airways. What is it, Johnny? Mr. Drummond, radio for you to fly fast to Michael's camp and be sure to bring guns. What? Doggy. Ace must have found out something. Maybe he's found out Mr. Wyckoff is right. Yeah, bring my helmet, sir. Chuck, warm up that ship quick. I'm taking off. Here you are, Kitty. Good luck. Oh, thanks, kid. I'll be seeing you. Helper. Counter. Coming, Master. Get the drills and blasting equipment. Starting for the Mountain of Jade right away. Yes, Master. Take Mr. Keith's body out of the plane and get it under cover. I'll arrange to have it taken to the airport. Expecting me, Wyckoff. Take your hands off that gun. Now get away from that desk. What have you done with Miss Trainer and her father? I don't know what you're talking about. You can't get away with that, Wyckoff. I'll give the truth if I have to choke it out of you. I tell you, I haven't seen Trainer or his daughter. Wyckoff's getting away in it. Is Wyckoff the dragon? No, he isn't. The dragon's after his neck, too. Wyckoff is now in a dragon plane, flying over the camp. He must not escape. The dragon commands.
bag and got him. Yes, and he's the only one who could have told us where Peggy and her father are. There's the mother say, Missy. Please hurry. I need your help. What is it, my child? My father's been injured. He's in that car. He shall be cared for at once. See to it, Chang Ho. Leila. Before we take off? You saw what happened to Wyckoff, didn't you? There'll be no radio connections in this ship for the dragon to strike through. So peacefully now, my brothers. The Holy One would not approve of such a gathering within the courtyard. Why do you rebuke them, Chang Ho? The Holy One permits foreigners and women to enter the monastery. Surely our own people may remain in the courtyard. It's not for us to question the actions of the Holy One's sight. Wait, my brother! This land is your own. If these foreigners are permitted greater liberties, it will soon be lost to you. Oh, no, no. The foreigner that is now sheltered within your monastery. Within these sacred walls, which you are not permitted to enter, seeks to rob your ancient hills of their wealth. What's that? Some disturbance in the courtyard. I'll go and see. You'd better come with me. I'll give you medicine for your heart. Time is near at hand when these invaders must be driven out. flies one of their devil birds. If I had my way, it would never reach its nest. The Holy One! Here's our last. What is this, Isaac? You were the title pledged to follow the path of peace, inciting our people to anger and violence. To your prayer wheel, and do penance at once. Forgive me, Holy One. My love for our people carried me away. Boy, look at that crowd in the courtyard. I don't like the looks of that. Step on it. Hey. Where's your father? He's inside lying down. He'll want to see you. Go to him, my son. Thank you, Holy One. Understand this, trainer. 
You're not dealing with an imposter now. I am the dragon. Tell me where the mountain of jade is, or... Lying down. You'll want to see it. Go to him, my son. Thank you, Holy One. Understand this, trainer. You are not dealing with an imposter now. I am the dragon. Tell me where the mountain of jade is, or... Yes, he was in the room with Dr. Trainer when we broke down the door. Chang Ho! What is it, Holyman? Did you see Kai Chek amongst the crowd? No, Holyman. That settles it. Kai Chek is a dragon. On the contrary, that proves he isn't the dragon. Well, he disappeared, didn't he? Exactly. That's the last thing he would do if he were the dragon. He wouldn't throw suspicion on himself. All right, wise guy. 
Who is the dragon? Before I answer that, Jerry, let's go back and talk to Dr. Trainer. Don't forget the dragon was in the room with him. No, Peggy. But if your father could give us the description of the man who threatened him... I'm sorry, Drummond. I can't give you any clue to his identity. He wore a dragon's head. Oh, well, now that's just swell. We're right back where we started from. We're better off than that, Jerry. We know where the dragon's hideout is. You and I are going to take a little over there. Well, what about Peggy and her dad? Oh, father's too weak to be moved right now. You shall be our guest until he is well again. Thank you, Holy One. Come on, Jerry. Let's get to the plane. Yes, I want to let them know what we're going to do. You mean you're going to land? No, I've got a better idea. Take the stick. Thank 
summoned you here because communication over the prayer wheel has become too dangerous. We have it. Have H. Drummond got hold of one of our wheels? Never mind that now. Drummond is on his way to our hideout. He must be eliminated. That is your job, Boris. Not me. I'll do anything else you ask. But I'll not go up against H. Drummond again. So, you're afraid of Drummond. Is that it? Yes, and I don't care who knows it. You mean you refuse to obey the dragon's command? I'll do anything else you ask. Very well. I have other plans for you. Hello, Jerry. Hey! Oh, boy, am I glad to see you. Hey, where you been, anyway? Slip into the monastery to see Peggy and her father again. Have you seen anything of Kai Chang? Have I? You come with me. Why did I call it here? Why did it be home now? Why did I call it here? Sounds like it came from over there. Not the dragon.
What is it, my son? Oh, I beg your pardon, Holy One. I was looking for Kaichek. I, I thought he ran in here. Kaichek? He has dared to come back here? What's that? It's a collapsing room. Somebody has started the machinery. Vengeance of the dragon. You're right. The dragon's meant to tie me up. You, one of the foreigners whom I've hated and tried to draw from my country, you risked your life to save me. Forget it, Kaichek. I know how you feel. You failed to see our international airways intended to benefit your country. Airport? I've got to tell you, Drummond. Even now, the dragon's plane may be on their way to bomb it. I heard him give orders to his men. If only he could warn them. I may be able to get there in time. I've got a plane outside. Thanks, Kaichek. Jerry, we're here to help 
You know what I mean, Finn? I know where he is. You do? With your permission, hold him up. You're free to go now. Oh, well, Ty, thanks. Then you keep your eye on these cops for a couple of minutes. I gotta borrow a car in a hurry. No, just we prepared for another attack. They suddenly fell out of control and crashed. The entire squadron? No. What's getting away? That's the Dragon's plane. I'm going after him. The bomb wrecked all our planes? No, I don't think so. That's a troop plane. The number three hangar ought to be okay. Pull that ship out as fast as you can, boys. I'm taking off in a hurry. Okay. I do. All setting. We'll soon find out if you're right, Meredith. Hey, hey, where are you headed for? The Dragon's hideout. Like 
the death ray and drop down my plane. The dragon. Well, well. We didn't know Boogie Man himself. You knew well to smile. We have a saying in Mongolia. He who smiles at the grave's end takes happiness into the world beyond. You got a saying in America, too, you know. Don't count your chickens before they're hatched. You'll never leave this place alive. Here, you rub me out. You're just giving Ace Drummond one more reason to kill you. It may interest you to know that I shot Drummond down at the airport during the attack. He had that outside entrance block, too. Well, that guy never misses a bet. We're going to be in here for a long, long time. I've got to get out of here, Jerry, before the dragon gets hold of Peggy and her father. Holy one. A runner has just arrived from the village, saying the dragon's train has been shot down at the airport. Ace must have got there in time. The dragon's power is broken at last. Daddy, I'm so glad. Now you'll be safe. You won't have to keep the location of the train not in a secret any longer. That secret has cost too many lives already. I'm going to keep it until Ace Drummond tells me the dragon is done. I think you are very wise, my friend. It is the hour of the evening prayer, who is the my son. We must leave you now. Come, I say. Come over to the window and watch the session back. Breath of fresh air will be good. Evening air is chill, Holy One. I will fetch you a cake. Too bad you took up archaeology, Dad. You make an adorable moth. <laughs> Don't make a sound either. And you're going with me, Mr. Drum it. I was expecting you, Dragon. Take off that helmet. You heard me? Take off that helmet. It worked, Drummond. Mr. Drummond? How on earth did you get here? Where is Dr. Trainer? In his room, Holy One. Take off that helmet. I you whom I cherish above all my disciples. Vows you have taken for a month. 
You are the disgrace, Wallace. He isn't one of your people, Holy One. The credentials he brought from the Grand Lama at Lhasa are forged. He is a white man, born and raised among your people. The language and customs he learned as his own. Why have you done this evil thing? What did you hope to be? If it hadn't been for Drummond's interference, I would have made myself the most powerful man in age. Did you dare to use our religion as a cloak for your selfish aim? May the Holy One, whose temple you have outraged, destroy you. Quick, they behind him! The tunnel leads to the village. Send the guards to head him off. Take off the winds at his back. He'll never clear the monastery. Thanks to you, Drummond. International Airways has now accomplished its aim. Our clipper ships are taking off on schedule for all parts of the world. I'm glad of that, Mr. Meredith, because I'll need some fast transportation back to Washington. The government has a new job waiting for me. There's just one more favor you can do me, Ace. Name it. Take Billy back with you to America. It's time he returned to school. I'll be glad to. Gee, that's swell. Ace, you know, uh, Peggy's going back to America, too. Wouldn't it be swell if we all went back together? I don't think there'll be any doubt about that, son. company to dig the gate out of the mountain, and I'm chief pilot in charge of transportation. Well, it's fine, Jerry. Sir, boy, I, I guess if uh, uniforms have anything to do with it, I'll be a greater pilot than Lindbergh. Come 
loafers roar. Give me a plane to soar into the blue. Following far. 